All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Then look at us. Like a couple of old friends. I am mighty glad to be out of that cold, Mr. Morgan. Me too. Oh, I am getting too old for this gallivant. <laughs> Me too. The Chocolate Dutch Warmblood is the most expensive horse in Chapter 2, and you do get what you pay for. At level 4, the stats will be an impressive 7 health and 8 stamina. Just look at her physique. She's technically a workhorse, but she's as strong and brave as a warhorse. And she's huge. I do appreciate a big horse. I would say the chocolate refers to her coat and also her disposition because she is one sweet, well-mannered horse. The horse costs $450 at the Valentine's Stable and you'll come into Chapter 2 with around 50 to 60 bucks, depending on how much looting you did in Chapter 1. Hosea's Black Shire is worth $65, so we'll only need to raise around $350 for the horse, and maybe an additional $40 for supplies. So let's go raise the cash by looting lockboxes and the odd bandits we will inevitably come across. The first chest is under this bridge on the way to Wallace Station. Here's the map, right on the Dakota River. These bandit attacks are random events, so there's a little bit of luck involved, but they're also scripted into the game. The point is, is to take advantage of everyone you encounter. Next, we go to the top of this mountain for an easy 50 bucks. Here's the location, above the N and the S in Twin Stack Pass. Moving on, there's a chest outside the UFO shack, but Arthur doesn't have time to investigate aliens. We're trying to buy a horse. Here's the location. If you don't investigate the shack, the map won't update. Moving on, we need to go to the burnt out cabin near the Scarlet Meadows stable, which isn't even open yet. Grab every can you come across. You can sell them at the general store. Every dollar counts right now and it will all add up. Note the free throwing knife. Linger by this post and you will trigger the hidden stash. That will yield another 50 bucks and we are basically halfway there. Meanwhile, on the waterfront, we can find Bonnie McFarlane's soon-to-be-dead ex-boyfriend. It's a random spawn, but I have always had luck in this general location. <coughs> Whoa! 
Whoa! I thought you was already gone! Tell her! I never stop. Fun fact, if you put this letter in your satchel and then take it out again, you will be able to read it. There's no time to read now, though. Grab the loot and move on. We have a schedule to keep. Yes, that's that, Dan. Again, help anyone you come across and loot the bodies. It all adds up. Boy! Idiot! And there's another 20 bucks in this Matic Pond tree stump. This lockbox used to be glitched in earlier versions of the game. I do miss those days. And here is a random wall near Ringneck Creek. Take a moment to look at this stack of rocks someone was kind enough to put here to mark this spot. I wonder why. Could it be there's a lockbox with $60 inside? Another random encounter, it should be worth 10 or 12 bucks. And be very careful with your horse as you traverse the map. You don't have any horse survivor right now and you'll feel terrible if you get him killed. You'll respawn with another Tennessee Walker, but you'll still feel bad about it. And at this bridge on the way to Blue Water Marsh, you'll find a dead alligator, a dead pirate, and a treasure chest. I love this random safe encounter. You do have one stick of dynamite from chapter one, but if you wait, they'll open it for you. Know what you're talking about. Yeah, sometime before I turn too old to spend it would be nice. I don't see you doing nothing except talking all manner of crap. Hey, I got the safe. And I outran the sheriff in the wagon. I'm getting real sick of you right about oh, now. Same for me. Twice more. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. 40 bucks later and we are so close to our goal. If only it were this easy in real life. Finally, on our way back home to Horseshoe Overlook, we're going to stop by the Central Union Railroad Camp and do a quick mission. Hey, hey you! Come here a minute. 
find the thief and recover the money. And give him his marching orders. I'm not one for matters of personnel. Look for anyone sneaking off the line. You ready to return that money you stole? Okay! Okay! All right! All right! I'm leaving. The money is in the tree. Just please don't kill me. If you return the payroll to Percy, you'll get an easy $50. Or if you're doing a bad honor playthrough, you can keep the whole C note and be on your merry way. I got your money. Here. You're gonna need a new junior foreman, though. He just quit. Randall? I don't believe it. Well, that does explain a few things. Thank you for your help, partner. Here. For your trouble. You can also do some hunting. Whole carcasses will yield more than pelts. Hello there. And that puts us well over budget. Let's find Hosea and go hunting. You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? Let's take him to Valentine. All right. Go sell that big fruit. <clears throat> Buy yourself a horse. Okay. Did you just see Hosea knock over that NPC like it's no big deal and not catch a wanted level? And here she is. You worked hard for this horse. So enjoy this moment. And let's name her Valentine and put a mohawk on her. Alright, partner. And I really like this guy. He doesn't talk, and he has a limp, probably from getting kicked by a horse. But you can just tell by the way he treats the animals that he loves his job and horses. But, to be fair, who doesn't love horses? You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again further on down the trail. It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan.